I just think it's good to be naked more. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like so much happier. Hi, for watching this, I love you. Photo shit time. Got some errands to do today. Summer tires on winter roads. Wish me luck. I just think it's good to be naked more. <laughs> I don't know how long this is gonna be a thing for, but I just think it's great to get comfortable being naked. And I think by having these shots of me like this are, is quite triggering for people in a good way. Cause they'll be like, why aren't I comfortable naked? Maybe I should be naked more. And then it'll be good, but good educational content. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to do my breath work and meditation. I've been really enjoying the pyramid breath work. You fill in through your stomach and then into your chest. And as you're filling in, you arch your back. And then as you breathe out, you round your back and you're just trying to get as much air in and out as you can. I do three sets of 33. After the first set, I blow all the air out and then I flex every muscle I can in my body and hold and then release. You see animals do this a lot and cats and stuff like when they're like, ah, that's how they relax. After the first one, you breathe in and you hold that for as long as you can. And then when you breathe out, you do the muscle hold. And then the second one, uh, you do the 33 and then you breathe out at the last one and you hold that. And then the third one, uh, I do like a light hold and then a sound release, which is like, ah, but you just shake your whole body. Oh, I just saw, oh. Old Eagle, casual. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like so much happier than I was in New York. Oh my God, like I'm kind of at the levels that I was feeling in Miami. Actually, I'm probably even happier here because I've got family and my animals and like the snow and the cold just kind of like gives you permission to just be a little bit slower and cozier. Whereas in Miami, you're like, it's hot, it's beautiful, I should be outside. I should be at the beach. Let me go and do something. Let me go to this party. Let me go to that restaurant. So yeah, Kelowna's a, little, a lot slower than Miami. <gasps> and I can't get Peking duck here, which is very sad, but I have been cutting back my meat consumption greatly. And that just came from a little ping inside. I'm just like playing this scavenger hunt with my inner being where it's just like whatever the little pings I get, oh, a bird just came. Whatever little things I'm getting inside of me, I'm just following them. And so it's like, go rock climbing. I went rock climbing. And then it's like, go jump in the water. I'm like, I went and jumped in the water. And it's like, hey, like, let's eat less meat. I'm like, okay, I'll eat less meat. And then one of my favorite things right now are these roasted cacao beans. It's like, tastes like, smells like chocolate. Tastes like a mocha, but there's no caffeine in it. And it just, it just makes my whole morning. So, cheers. Hi, my beautiful friends. I just posted the photos that I took. I'll include some B-roll of oh, taking those photos. I got my mom to shoot. Like she was literally like, you, you know that Kris Jenner meme where Kris Jenner's like filming him. But anyways, my mom was recording when my sister took these photos for me. They're all my, <laughs> they're my, my yearly snow photos.
but yeah, I just posted those and I wrote a caption for it last night and I included that and I just feel so good. I feel like there's just constantly society and people are just trying to put their layers on you. Like they're like, this is how you are. This is who you are. This is what you should be doing. We need to take responsibility for having an agreement with them and letting those layers sit on us and build up and build up and build up because we can't blame them. That's a choice for us to let those things affect us, whether it's praise or criticism. But I'm just entering this state now where I'm just like shaking all those thoughts and opinions on like what I should be doing, where I should be, who I should be with, what type of photos I should take, how I should speak, and just letting that go. Letting my true personality kind of bubble up and tell me who she is. And I'm getting to know her. Like I was just so confused the past couple of years and I lost my voice, but it's coming back and I'm so excited to share her with you guys and the world. So it just feels great to take those photos, to be myself and write captions like that, which are so meaningful to me because I have such a strong desire to just trigger everyone in my life into them starting to listen to their own, you know, divine guidance within. I asked my inner being what she wanted to wear today and this is the outfit she chose. Uh, let me show it to you. Here is the outfit, if it will focus for me. It's this sweater from Free People. I got this scarf from a vintage store in New York. These jeans are Reformation. Reformation like makes my favorite jeans, but I've lost some weight, so they're a little bit big, but I think they still look cute. And my favorite slippers of all time, if you guys wanna elevate your life, okay, these slippers, glare ups. I've had these since I went to Iceland like five years ago. They are still perfect. They don't smell because they're natural materials, and I just love them. Plus, like now that I have my eyebrows done and my eyelashes done, I did a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of highlight, and a little cat eye, and I'm done. My skin's been great. I'm feeling great. Oh, wow. We can change our lives. I am like a living example of being able to change my life. I was so depressed this year. I was so fatigued. I was crying a lot, not feeling good. And here I am out on the other side. This is available to you too. Woo. I also have been posting on TikTok. I'm not really... There needs to be something that I either focus solely on TikTok and I'm like, okay guys, if you want like my good morning messages and things like that, go on over to TikTok um, and maybe switching that content there and then just having my Instagram kind of be a funnel to TikTok um, because my brain feels a little bit discombobulated where I'm like, am I posting to YouTube? Am I posting to Instagram? Am I posting to Twitter? And Instagram even feels a little bit old and outdated. Um, so I'm just kind of like wondering what is the new for me and what's that flow? So inviting that flow in. Um, I've got some errands to do today. I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. I need to get some more Epsom salts because I've been having Epsom salt baths every single night with like a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil and just relaxing in there for like an hour or two hours. It's so good for your skin and your body. This time of year, like my spirit is just like guiding me and that's what it keeps guiding me to. And I also like to say a little blessing on my bath. When I have a bath, I say, different things every time, but it's just like, I intend this bath to clear away any thoughts, ideas, tension that is not in service to me or in alignment with my highest expression and to relax my body and my nervous system to a state where I can receive guidance, love, clarity and then rejuvenate me and fill me with passion like whatever you want to bring more into your life and then I need to go and get my clothes tailored I have uh, a couple pairs of pants that don't fit me anymore so I'm gonna get those tightened which what the heck is my life like I never ever thought that there was weight for me to lose but after quitting drinking and only eating what my body is like deeply asking for not listening to the cravings and having discipline with that and doing fasting once a week like that has just changed my entire form and my form, like, I, but I feel healthier and I feel stronger. And then I need to drop off my camera to be fixed because the one I was filming, uh, the smaller one, the G7X got dropped and it was already dropped a few times. It was already on its last legs. So I'm gonna see if the camera repair man here in the Okanagan can fix that. Um, I need to set up a call with my accountant, my Canadian accountant and my American accountant. And I need to love you. Yeah, hi, for watching this, I love you. 
Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for witnessing me grow and change over the years and staying present with me. I just wanna tell you how proud I am of you too. This change that I'm feeling, this cultivation of character and self, it is not just me. This is happening across the planet. So I know that there's essences in you. that has been changing and growing and developing. So I'm just here to honor you and celebrate your change and your growth. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. Just reflect a little bit today on how much you've changed and grown as a being and just give thanks to yourself and to the energy that guides us. Like there's so much that exists outside of this three-dimensional form that I'm currently occupying and you're currently occupying. And it's like, it's like an orchestra. There's an orchestra going on. I believe there's an orchestra behind the scenes. I call it my council that are just actively looking to create sweet miracles when I'm in that right state and in that vibration. And it can be bad miracles too, like bad negative miracles that get us, kick us out of whatever weird energy we in and into the new. So I love you guys. <laughs> That's one happy dog. Happy dog. <laughs> Summer tires on winter roads. Wish me luck. Okay, where am I going? I need a tailor. 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Just got back from the store. I thought that you might find it interesting for me to talk about what I bought. I got some cold pressed olive oil, first cold pressed, first extraction. It's really important when you're buying olive oil. I got some local sunflower shoots, microgreens, navel oranges. Some coconut oil, I was running out. The same thing with this, just unrefined and raw as possible. I got some cassava flour because I noticed that there was a lot of cassava flour in my uh, like gluten-free snacks and food I've been getting. I got some aloe vera, I'm gonna use this on my skin and my hair. And some cooked beets, some broccolini. I noticed that they have these local British Columbia wild west coast mushrooms. So I bought some hedgehog mushrooms and some yellow foot chanterelles. I'm gonna figure out how to cook those. I got some rice crisp snacks, gluten free, some cashew. Cream cheese is delicious. I honestly like this better than regular cream cheese now. I got some dried cranberries because I've been feeling a need to have more cranberries. Um, 90% dark chocolate organic fair trade, some more beets. These are cooked with um, in mild vinegar. I love them. And then I got a bunch of pears. I was just going through the local areas. Uh, choices has great choices of produce. Um, and there's a bunch of fruits that were local. So I got some beets. I got two different types of pears. I couldn't tell you the name of them. And then I also got two passion fruits, which aren't local, but I saw the passion fruits and I got really excited. And then I got these uh, free yum crackers, um, which are gluten-free crackers that I've been really loving. I'm listening to Giorgio by Moroder. Moroder, it's Daft Punk. He's talking about when he first started creating music and he's talking about how back in the day, there's no rules. There's no rules to creating music and you could do whatever you want and play with whatever you want and you were making the rules. When we're in a time where there's so much information and you can learn so much and study so much and do so much and be involved in so many different things, I just had this realization that that place of no rules, that place of really not limiting yourself in any capacity and allowing you know your heart and your mind to explore without bounds and play without bounds like 
that is the genius state. And so our only jobs now as humans, if you want to contribute to the leading edge instead of contributing to the old ways and the old patterns and things and ways and rules of doing things, um, is to deprogram yourself to the best of your ability and to relieve yourself of those rules, to forget, to push aside and to forge your way into new territory with a totally new, open, pure mind. So that was what just came up for me and I thought I would share it with you. I've also been really loving uh, beeswax candles and I've learned how to take care of them a little bit better. They're, you've got to do this like um, little hugging technique and make sure that the wick is a certain length and so they don't go over. Oh, I might have done it a little too much. enjoyed the video if you did make sure to spank that like button and subscribe it helps out the channel greatly and i'll see you guys in another video bye